Hey everybody, welcome back. So you've been watching me do a lot of solar projects lately, a lot of battery backups, and maybe you want to get started in it, but you think, well, it's kind of complicated, it's really expensive. I'm going to show you a kit today that I picked up, and I picked it up for different reasons than you might use it, but a kit that I picked up that's going to make this so easy for you when we come back. All right, hey everybody, welcome back. Today I have a kit for you here that is by a company called Dokio, and I'm going to be using this for the kit that I just built, the solar power um, box for my, my uh, HF radio. However, this kind of a kit can make solar setup so easy for you. This is a complete kit. All you need to add is an inverter and a battery. It's perfect for those that are just getting started. Maybe you're not sure of how solar works. Maybe you want to see it first in action before you want to actually dump money into it. Something like this, awesome way to do it. Now the system's basically in integrated with a monocrystalline panel, very handy travel bag there, and it pretty much can give you solar anywhere you want. Included is a charge control. It's a PWM charger. It'll work with any kind of gel, AGM, regular lead acid batteries, just depends on how big the battery and how fast you want to charge it. You get about 80 watts at 4.4 amps. It weighs only 4 pounds. Okay? The dimensions folded are 21 by 20 by, uh, by 0 0.04. And it's 118 inches unfolded. And it's got really nice cables inside. Let me, well, let me show you the cables first. Let's go in here first. Nice 3 amp cable connectors. And the charge control is right in here. This all comes very well packed too. I just kind of had it out because I've been playing with it. Um, here's your charge control right here. Now, is it a top-of-line best charge control ever? No, it's, it, you know, it's going to be a compromise, but it works. It does what you want it to. And also, here's the cool part. If you never want to connect this to a battery, you plug your solar panel in here, and you can charge any USB device off the side. And we're going to demo that part because I don't really have another battery to hook up to it. All my batteries are in boxes now. Here are the cables. Let's dig into the cables, and I'll show you what you get. All right, first up. We get this cable that's coming in off the solar panel. You'll see the connector here. That's why I chose those connectors for my other kit. And this is the connector here into the charge control. So basically you're just going to do one of these deals. And I'll show you the setup inside the panel in a sec. That's how you're going to do it there. All right, if you want to charge a battery off of this, you've got another side here that's for a battery, right? Well, you've got this with battery clips. Now, the battery clips, they're not the most sturdy in the world, but they'll work. Again, this is an entry-level kit. And solar, what I like about solar is it's very scalable. If you find you love this, you love the way it works, well, you go out, you buy a better charge control. You clip this end off here, and you connect it to the charge control with whatever connector they're using, and you still have the same panel. Now, honestly, I would not leave a panel like this out 24-7. The one that I'm currently using with that, uh, with that box that I built, I would use that. That is an outdoor solar panel. This is more of an emergency use, uh, part-time use, camping, um, hiking, bug out location type deal where you just need some power. Um, if you're camping and you set this out for the day, that's no big deal. But these kind of panels are meant to be emergency use only. They're meant for short-term use. You know, there's fabric here. The fabric is going to get worn out in the sun. It's going to get beat up. Um, I saw some complaints on uh, Amazon about it, and they're like, oh, it didn't hold up. And I'm like, this is not the type of panel you stick outside for five years, you know? All right, I'll give you a kind of look into it. Let me back up the camera a little so you can see. I hope it doesn't get too dark when I back it up, but there you go. So you can kind of see in there. You can see what, uh, what it looks like. You got your uh, connector right here. So you're going to be running this off of that connector and running it into the panel. Now what we're going to do today is I'm going to use this to charge my tablet. I'm going to see about how long it takes to get it up a little bit. I'm not going to charge it fully, of course, because that would take all day. But we're going to try and see how it works um, with this charge control here. And I do like the fact that you're able to charge USB devices directly off this without even connecting a battery. You can also run a load or a light off this without ever connecting a battery if you want. Definitely a cool little system. Again, like I said, you know, it's not the best charge control in the world, but it will certainly do the job. So, we're going to take this outside, and I'm going to measure the voltage coming off this, and then we're going to put it in here and charge up that little, uh, my little tablet that's over there in the corner, and see how it works. All right, I apologize for the wind out here, so I'm going to try to, the minute I turn the camera on, it gets windy. I try to, I'll try to make this as quick as possible. As you can see, the charge control is 
taking a charge. I'm not in direct sunlight here at all. Actually, the sun is kind of back this way. It's coming over. It's about, I don't know, 9 in the morning here. So we're still over back east that way. And I am charging my tablet. It is at 58% or it was when I plugged it in. I can't really tell what it is now. Let's see. I just plugged it in. So it's still at 58, yeah. So it's not, uh, not an incredibly quick charge yet. I mean, I just plugged it in two minutes ago. But we're going to see how long it takes to get a little bit higher. And then I'll take you in and I'll give you the final stats on this. So this is really an affordable way to uh, start your own kind of solar collection type system. Uh, easy way to do it. Simple way to get it all set up. Really doesn't take much work. Uh, it's really easy to uh, deploy. And there's no figuring anything out. It's real simple. You know, you've got your charge control already. You've got all the components you need. All you really need to add is a battery and some kind of inverter very simple to deploy so if you guys are kind of questioning about should I get involved with solar it looks really complicated this is an easy way to do it so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna let this thing run and charge this tablet for a little bit and uh, see how long we can get it till just you know a little bit more than it's charged already I'm not gonna keep it out here all day and top it off and uh, we'll see how it performs all right so when I shut off the camera I realized I'm looking right at a clock kind of silly <laughs> it's 9:43 now and it was about 9.38 when I shut off the camera. We're already at 60%, so that's like 2 or 3% in 10 minutes. It's still going along great over here, as you can tell by the charge control. I did move the panel to a little bit of a better angle, because the sun is facing that way. So you see I put it over there, and you can see where the cable runs back to here. So I'm so far impressed with it. Now for me, I'm going to cut this cable here, this part here. And I'm going to make that a positive and negative, and we're going to use this for my ham radio charger. Um, the reason I like that panel over there instead of the big heavy panel is because that's light and easy to deploy temporarily. My big panel is a lot bigger, a lot heavier, and may not fit every situation. Something like that I can toss up on the top of my car and not worry about it scratching the car. It's got little hooks for there for carabiners, so I could hook that on the side of a building if I'm working in, say, a Red Cross situation where I'm working inside a building pretty much a little more flexible and a heck of a lot lighter than that 50 watt panel that I showed you. And that 50 watt panel will probably go up on my roof to add to my um, solar collection panels for my inside backup system. So, so far, this thing is kicking butt. We're at 61% over here. 62%, I'm sorry. 944, still pulling in a charge really well. Still doing pretty good. So. Let's take it inside. I'll give you the final statistics on it and the information. By the way, just a hint, it's very affordable compared to most systems. All right, back inside out of that nasty wind. I'll tell you, it's either 115 out here or it's windy and raining <laughs> lately. Anyway, um, let's get into the price on this first off. It's 111.49. Now, when you think that you buy an 80-watt panel, okay, especially a folding one because they're way more expensive than regular panels, then you buy the charge control, then you wire it all up you're looking at a lot more than $111. Now, like I said, no, that's not the best charge control in the world. But will it work for your purposes until you want to upgrade? Maybe you want to learn a little bit. Maybe you want to see how you like solar and how it works. Something like that's awesome. Maybe you live in an apartment, and the best you can do is stick this out on maybe a terrace or a porch or a patio, and, um, or in a window, and that's all you can afford. That's awesome. And it's portable, too, so it's also kind of bug-out power, well, I wouldn't be wearing it on my back. If you're bugging out by vehicle, this thing's four pounds. You toss it in your car and you forget about it. Um, actually, the whole kit is four pounds. The thing itself is 2.99. So let's get into the stats on this. The maximum power this thing delivers is 80 watts. Maximum voltage is 18, so it will work with all of those little portable uh, solar generators, the Gold Zero types and all that stuff. You will have to change the connector on it, but it will work with them. They need 18 or higher to work. Maximum power current is 4.4 amps. We were getting about 2.5 amps out there, but I wasn't in the direct sun. Uh, open circuit voltage is 21.6 volts. Your short circuit current is 4.6 amps. And the maximum system voltage is 1,000 volts. Now, your nominal temperature, usually the, uh, your operating temperature, should be anywhere from, I believe, minus 45 to 120. So that gives you a pretty big range. Um, I'm not sure that... That's legit, to be honest with you. I'd probably say it's probably cold, okay in the cold and okay in the heat. I wouldn't go with minus 45. It would probably be brittle and break. Uh, the product dimensions, 21.65 inches by 21.26.2 inches folded. 
Item weight weighs about 2.99 pounds. So for 111 bucks, you got yourself a whole system here. Now my use for this is going to be totally different than your use. My use is going to be, you know, I'm going to clip that cord, put a connector on it, and um, use it for my, uh, my HF system. I like the fact that it's very flexible. You know, if I have to lean it over a car, maybe put it half over the back of the hatchback, half over the thing. I'm not worried about this breaking because it moves, it's flexible. It's not all rigid and it won't crack. It's another thing with, you know, the other panel. It's a glass panel. It's heavy. It, it falls, it cracks. If this falls, no big deal. You know, it's, it's going to take it a whole lot better. Another neat feature I forgot to mention earlier was this. This is for your load connector there. You can connect that to anything you want. So if you have a little LED light, say, and you're running this thing, and you want to charge up that light, or you want to run that light off of the battery, or just off of this. Like if I'm in here and it's dark, but it's light outside, I put this panel outside, I connect this to a little 12 volt light, and guess what? I'm running it off the load, again, even without the battery on it. So definitely a cool little system. Um, consider this a gigantic phone charger. You go camping with your kids, and everybody's got a cell phone, and all of them are on like, you know, 1%. They can all get a splitter, plug in here, Throw that outside, and everybody gets charged. I believe it was like, I don't know, maybe 10 minutes, and I had uh, 4% charged up on my phone for, from, from, from almost, you know, no time at all. That's not bad. Um, definitely a cool little system. So I will give you a link down below where you can purchase it. It is on Amazon. You, can, you might be able to find it somewhere else. I just purchased it on Amazon because I saw it and said, oh, perfect price and awesome to bring you guys on the channel because solar can be expensive. And it can scare a lot of people off, especially if you live in an apartment. You think, why should I bother with panels? I don't even have a roof to put it on. You don't need one. You can stick this outside a window, outside a porch. You can even hook it, you know, with these, with these uh, carabiners. Although, I would probably, if you're hooking it high up, I'd probably secure it a little bit better. But you could hook it temporarily with these little clips up top here for carabiners. Um, definitely something cool for you guys that live in apartments and want to get started in some kind of backup solar power. And the battery can be as big or small as you want. You know, you can get a little small AGM battery, a little lead acid, you know, type thing, one of those uh, lithium polymer type deals. Real small system. You can run whatever you need in the house. You can get a little 400, 200 watt inverter. I have a little 100 watt inverter that plugs into a cigarette lighter in my car. You know, so inverters have come way down in size. Solar panels have come way down in cost. So you can experiment with something like this. And, you know, as you see you want more, you can add more, or you can keep this as a portable kit. This and a deep cycle battery and a little inverter can keep you powered for an entire weekend camping and can keep you constantly being topped off with this panel outside. So definitely a cool item. Like I said, I will put the link down below. This is the Dokio 80 watt 12 volt solar panel kit. And it's important to emphasize kit because you get all this stuff with it. Um, saves you a lot of money and having to hunt down stuff. And uh, it's definitely a neat little system. I like it, you know. And I'm going to be using it for something different. You'll see it more in, in, in the videos when I use that, uh, that box. We're going to do a, uh, I'm probably going to do field day outside, you know, I'm going to set up in my backyard and we're going to operate on that little radio and I'm going to power it with just that panel. And we'll see how it holds up. If it doesn't, I have it back up, but we'll see how this holds up for that whole day outside. Anyway, folks, I thank you for watching. The link for this will be down below. I will put it in my uh, store. You can also check out my Amazon affiliate store if you want to see what I review on the channel. If there's nothing in there you like, click the link and shop as you normally would. And don't forget to check out our Thrive Life link down below. Uh, they are constantly adding new stuff as well as re-adding stuff from the big purchase craziness that went on a few months ago. So they're coming, everything's coming back into stock and they have lots of good freeze-dried food for you guys to get your food storage started with. It's definitely good stuff. It's a little pricier than the other stuff, but it's definitely high quality food. And don't forget to check out our 4 Patriots link down below. That is preparewithiridium.com. Definitely a good time to start stocking up on some food storage items. And they have amazing deals there as well. So I thank you guys for watching. Stay safe and stay prepared.